Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NetCore and today I'm going to show you uh, the next video of the MOVI controls that is the input controls. So first of all add uh, that is a template for the MOVI uh, to add input controls that is the .NET MOVI content page and uh, yeah, the name is uh, input control demo. So uh, the first page define um, input control demo in the app.xml.cs file like input oops, input control demo. So here we have it the main page that is the input control demo. And you can say that is the here we have some uh, input controls like that. So here we have input controls the first one is the uh, checkbox that that property is eject by default that is the input control actually uh, if uh, is checked property is true that means the checkbox is true and the default content and if it is content not there text is not there so you can add uh, a label control inside a checkbox control so here we have and in which you can add a label it's not there so here you can take label flyout layer absolute layout so it's an actually a container so you can take label inside it you can take a checkbox control so just remove it here and add it here the name label and the text property of the label is uh, that is already sign in okay so here we have a checked is true checkbox that is the whole the property text is set more than once I mean to say that uh, text property is a label control that is this type of the checkbox property so uh, you can just remove it from the text property it here so uh, here is the text property of the label that is by default checkbox so what should we take for the checkbox so you can take just after that you can take label and the text property is already checked okay so you can see that output of in, in the windows machine but you can see that uh, here we have a horizontal layout so you can check horizontal stack layout so inside it you can take both these and wait for some times to run this uh, uh, example slider value change with the correct okay 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 so here we have some uh, event it here so just remove first of all value changed event and again the value changed event and the next is text change event completed is event also okay so here we have a mm, these are the events so thus now run on the windows machine <coughs> wait for some times and uh, you can see that about the checkbox so uh, here we have a checkbox it's not in uh, good container for the holding the labels control and label is also not contain a checkbox control you can see but uh, in the horizontal layout you can set the checkbox as well as the label in, in the plus it here like checkbox already checked okay so checked and unchecked properties there now the next thing is going to slider that is the minimum slider and the maximum slider and you can see that the maximum value is actually uh, contain the green color and the uh, minimum value is actually holding for the uh, red color so you can check in the slider uh, here we have a x name is slider 1 minimum is uh, 0 maximum is 10 minimum track color is red 
and maximum track color is green and thumb color is blue so here we have a thumb color that is the blue if, if you want to get the value on the res, uh, on the label control uh, here we have a label that is the result slider just you can use value changed event so here we have a new event handler and just i want to get the value of the slider one the, here we have a slider one so you can just stop this debugging and get the value of the slider one on the result label so result slider dot text equals to slider one dot value dot one dot to string so you just get the slider one value and after that you can see that about the slider the label is already discussed the next one is the stepper control stepper is actually x name mm, both stepper and the slider are the same but uh, by using the stepper you can just clicking on the buttons it, uh, it's feel like a button uh, uh, increment and decrement by uh, the one or the steps so when you click or the trigger any buttons uh, in the increment buttons and the decrement buttons so stepper is looking like that uh, two buttons um, with one value okay so minimum is 1 maximum is 10 and increment by 1 and 10 okay and also decrement by 1 okay so here we have a stepper and you can change that value change event also there value change event so here you can check uh, the new event handling on the value change event on the stepper control that is new event handling so just get the value of the stepper control by using the code behind file so here we you can say that a slider one a result a slider dot text just get the value of the stepper so here you can set stepper one okay so value dot to string okay the next one is the switch control is it is the type of the toggle so the property is is toggled you can bind also with the database and date picker time picker and the last one is the entry control so you can just uh, set the text change event on the entry control the placeholder is red is password is true and keyboard is numeric uh, that is the type of uh, the thing you can add it here and the next one is editor control auto size is text changes auto size what what do you mean by the text changes event uh, okay so in the auto size you have uh, some are uh, disabled and the text changes okay so editor look like a uh, container of text or you can say multi size multi uh, size text boxes you can say so the text changes but in the stack layout we have got uh, we got an error message what should we do element editor was not found okay so okay there so just now run on the windows machine and here we go for the output oops object reference not set to instance and object null reference error result slider dot text stepper one dot value dot to string okay so first of all check if stepper one is not equals to null if it is not null then get the value otherwise you got the error related to the stepper but if you are not getting the any error types of the slider because the slider value is actually already is zero so the save this thing and uh, just run go for the windows machine and here we have so enter username like that it's a type of passwords and here we have a type of editor control okay and this is the type of uh, the thing is the timer control and this is the date picker control 
and this is the toggle and you can just swipe and here we have a increment and decrement by one by the stepper control this is, so here we have a plus and the uh, minus button and here we have a slider okay so that slider value is actually hold in the fractional point uh, and the stepper is do not hold any uh, 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 fractional point values okay so guys thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to .net for